Welcome back to the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports. I, I kind of wanted to say the Andy Tate Show, but I didn't want you to smack me on air. Um, <laughs> before the break, we were talking about some very, very interestingly pronounced names at a college graduation. Um, and now we're moving on to a very different conversation. Are you Are you ready for this one, do you think? No. Tate, okay. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and get it, get it, get it set up here. So um, a woman says who says she married and then divorced a ghost has now adopted a possessed clown um but she says it, it's making her ex jealous so brocard there she's only ever referred to by brocard or brocardi i'm not sure uh who is 40 tied the knot with victorian soldier spook eduardo then split with him when she accused him of cheating on her and also stalking her the singer and songwriter has now adopted a possessed clown after quote unquote connecting with him when spending a night at the clown motel in nevada which you're seeing those images on the slideshow next to us she toured the usa with the clown doll then returned home to oxfordshire with it to conduct a paranormal investigation on him but she says her ex eduardo has become jealous of the clown he doesn't want the clown in the house she says eduardo has so far been placid with her communicating with other spirits um, placid or flaccid? <laughs> Sorry about that. Had to ask these questions. On. <laughs> but his unrested soul seems to be rattled at the thought of her bringing another ghost over the threshold. She said, I can instantly tell when Eduardo has a point to make. His energy is very powerful. His presence has been very manageable these days, and I only see him from time to time. He does not like the clown, though. He watches him, and I keep finding the clown by the door. Subtlety is not Eduardo's strong point. He has nothing to be concerned about, as I have no intention of marrying a clown ghost, although that would be funny. The clown is here for research purposes only, and I definitely don't need to get into a paranormal love triangle. I... What's, sorry, what's this one's name? Brocardi? Okay. Or Brocardi? Okay, keep on. I know the clown is possessed, so perhaps as Eduardo has picked up on some bad energy and is just looking out for me. I'm fascinated by the prospect of spirit vessels and haunted objects. It's a whole new world for me, so I'm trying to learn and absorb as much as possible. That's why I enjoyed filming this series. She was in the U.S. filming a series on haunted places um, so much. And as I'm meeting people who had fascinating ghost adventures, not unlike myself. On a trip to the famous Clown Motel in Nevada, Brocard instantly gravitated towards the clown and connected with it due to their love of theater and performing, she says. She says the spirit trapped inside the clown immediately revealed to her that he was a carnival clown and that he was a tortured soul who spent his days performing for audiences that didn't care and ridiculed him for not being funny. When I connect with spirits, it's often their emotions that I connect with first. Sometimes an unrested spirit attaches itself to a physical entity. In this case, this clown doll had once been owned or come in contact um, with a man who worked as a clown. This man was tortured by his dreams of stardom, but was condemned to life in the carnival where he was underappreciated. I suppose as, as an artist, I can relate to this, so I feel that's why he chose me to convey this message. Brocard instantly felt that she wanted to rescue the clown, and the motel agreed to let her adopt him to conduct a full paranormal investigation to see if she can find more information or even capture evidence of his possession. Um, the clown motel has largely been reported as one of the most haunted locations in Nevada. Uh, after a night alone at the motel, Brocard also revealed her thoughts on why this may be. She said the motel is fascinating as many murders have been reported on the site over the years. The circumstances of a lot of the deaths have been unpleasant. It's believed that there are dark forces at work in that area as it sits near a portal. Um, there's also a graveyard across the car park, so it's not the most cheerful of places, ironically, hence the clowns. It is believed that a lot of the ghosts still live there and some have possessed the clowns in the museum. The clowns have been donated from all over the world and I believe some have spiritual attachments and predate their arrival at the museum, like the one I have adopted. After leaving the clown motel, Brocard traveled across the USA with the clown by her side She's taken him to Hollywood, and they've had a wild night out in Las Vegas. But so far, there have only been subtle movements and signs of possession. So far, he's a peaceful ent entity. He's often moving on his own, but nothing that would cause me alarm. I'm hoping that doesn't change now that I have two ghosts in the house. She will launch a clown cam soon, so people can keep up to date with the adoption. She does have a website. Um, I don't quite even know where to 
start with this one. Let me, so I'm going to let, 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 let you start with this one. Let's okay. just, yeah. Uh, what, what, okay. do you, what do you have for me? I think about the Dave Chappelle show. Okay. And I listen to this as you're telling the story. And I think about the Dave Chappelle show. And what comes to mind is cocaine as a powerful drug. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what I'm hearing. I, as you're talking, I keep hearing it repeating my head. Cocaine is a powerful drug. She Miss Brokehard <laughs> Miss Brokehard, Miss Brokeback, I don't know what her name is, but it's supposed to be puff puff gear. You don't double tap, you puff puff, move it on. You can't be just keeping it. You need to bag off your medication. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm just telling you. You need to just be cut back on the medication by about 40-50%. <laughs> You'll realize that you've lost your damn mind. That's what I'm going to tell you. That's what I hear is that somebody has been partaking of the of the medication of the lettuce and <laughs> You know, and you cannot overindulge. You know, too much of a good thing is bad. You didn't mess around and doubled up on your dosage. Now you over here dating, dating clown ghosts and everything else. She's, and, she's just investigating him. They're not dating. It is a strictly a medication issue. <laughs> Either you didn't hit the medication too hard or somebody needs to prescribe something a little stronger. One way or another, that's all I'm telling you. And then you say she hosts a show or something like that? Uh, it sounds like she's filming some kind of a show where she, uh, so like there, it looked like from the article, there were some pictures, like she's filming a show. She also seems to do some seances. There were pictures of groups. Um, so they, they did a seance with the clown and- I'm not watching it. <laughs> she will let you know. <laughs> I'm not watching it. Do you watch norm? Do you ever watch paranormal shows? Because I mean, if you're, uh, not really. That's yeah, not that's not that's people. not really my thing. But definitely, women that hook up with the, hook up with clowns. You can't you you can't be hooking up with clowns, especially fake clowns, <laughs> fake ghost clowns. That's that. You understand what I just said? <laughs> fake ghost clowns <laughs> possess and jealous fake ghost clowns that are jealous it's not the clown who's jealous it's her ex it's her ex-husband and who's the ex-husband he was a, a a victorian soldier and what is he a ghost but not exactly. a clown it's like she pull off the medication <laughs> Don't be hitting it that hard. You know? Can I tell you my favorite part of the article? Okay, let me hear it. Well, I mean, first, just the fact that she married a ghost, and we barely touch on that. She married yeah, a and divorced that's... a ghost. That's not Wait, 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 wait. And he stopped The her. fact is that the marrying the ghost is the most stable part of this whole conversation. <laughs> That's where it is the issue. That's the reason why when I realized that the fact that she married a ghost that's when I started thinking cocaine is a wonderful drug. <laughs> you know? Okay, well, my favorite part of the article was when she said, you know, Eduardo is jealous. Um, but she said, I'm not going to marry the clown, that, but that would be funny. Like, she even admitted, like, I think she's, I, I, I don't know, but that makes me laugh. But that would be funny if I married a ghost clown. Um, and she's talking about rescuing the clown. Somebody needs to rescue her. Mm, intervention? No. Rescue meaning padded sail. Oh. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. If if you if you are marrying ghosts, rescuing uh you know, ghost clowns and everything else, it's time for that straight jacket. Just lock them down. You understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Now, let's move on from Miss Broke Hard. <laughs> Okay. By the way, I understand. I'm not saying her name. I don't quite. know how to say her name correctly. So, so do you have a follow up? I mean, she first off, she's broke, and it's gonna be hard times because no, that movie's not making I'm enough. Not she's broke. She just don't. <laughs> the wild night in Vegas. I'm it was a wild night in Vegas with the possessed clown. Listen, I understand having a wild night in Vegas, 
maybe with a stripper, stripper name Itchy, something like that. I understand that. Maybe <laughs> Itchy. I'm just saying, you know, you might have had that moment, but in, you know, if you you had a hard night in Vegas with a ghost clown that's jealous. <laughs> that's, all, that's the way I heard it. You ain't, I ain't want to gossip, all right? That's how I heard the story. So we're going to keep it right there. That we're going to keep it a, a ghost clown here. My question, let's change Mr. Okay, go ahead. Bro broke very hard. I'm scared, but go ahead. People are afraid of clowns. Are you a clown person or not? Um, I, I never really had an issue with a clown. The only time, so, um, when I was in, I don't know, second or third grade, my dad's sister gave my sister and I matching clown dolls one year for Christmas. Mine was green, had green hair, hers was Already red. sounds creepy. They were kind of creepy, but I didn't have an issue with it until I spent the night at a friend's house and she decided that we should watch Poltergeist. Okay. And I've not, I've never been a horror person. And so even at this young age, I watch Poltergeist and there's a clown that like attacks the kid, like the clown doll comes to life. Mm -hmm. I shoved that clown doll so far back in my closet. Um, but then I was also worried that I just made it angry by shoving it back in the closet. I, I was weighing my options, which was better. Um, so I'm not, I like clowns in general, I don't have a problem with, but that clown in particular, I was scared to of. Okay. It's kind of, here's something that people talk about how the world has evolved and gone on and things. And one thing about the world as it evolves, as a kid growing up, clowns were a big deal. Everyone in the circus was around. They had clowns, putting clowns in Robin cars Donald. and all the, all this stuff. Clowns are out of style now. Clowns, you know, there are not a lot of clowns. There was way too many clowns when I was a kid growing up. And now they're out of style. Ronald is the, is the last OG going on. I remember watching TV and there was all these clowns. It had, there was even Homie the Clown. Those guys are all gone, mm -hmm. just like this story is. <laughs> All right, you always, you always bring it around full circle for us, don't you? We like to make sure that we, we end on a, a note. <laughs> no, so uh, thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show brought by GSMC Sports. Your support means a lot to us. Please make sure that you like and follow the show and leave a positive re review. It really does help. You can also follow the podcast on social media, Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok for more content and updates. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that you have a wonderful day. See you, clown. <laughs>